Hello guys, it's Jerry here. I'm back and this time I'm gonna do a World Painter uh, Minecraft Terraining Basics tutorial. So, uh, World Painter is only for Mac OS, uh, Windows and Linux. So if you want to get it on your iPad or your iPhone or your smartphone, you will, you can't because it's, it, it doesn't work on that. So let's see here so the first tool one of the most useful ones you need to know is the is the type is the t tools type so you see where my mouse is this is your tools so yeah this is your tools so you don't never press this button there that will just like delete this tab but if you do press that button there, uh, if you do press that button there, uh, you could always go to tools. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, I uh, just wait for view. So workspace layout. Uh, reset reset current and default so now you will have your tools back because you just resetted your things your workspace layout so if you want to flatten this flatten the terrain this is just the overview of the large terrain that you're doing if you want to flatten the terrain click on this here my mouse is pointing and then select a brush which is any one of those the black spots on the brush image is how like the black spots is the place that it's going to affect and if it if on the brush image it slightly gets lighter and lighter that's like the smooth brushes so we'll just use one of that and then and then you hold down your mouse and the left don't yeah just the left bottom of your mouse and you could just yeah and if you wanted to work faster you can turn the intensity here higher the higher the intensity, the higher, the faster it works through it. And if your intensity is at 1, it's, it's still good. But because I'm using the flattening tool, so it will only, like, just be normal. So the, our next tool, which is one of the other most important things you need to know, is the raise terrain tool there so it will just auto save like once a while as you just saw so if you want to raise the terrain just hold where you want to raise it and then for how long and yeah you can see that i raised it so every one of those black lines here represent 10 blocks taller so if you want to view how the world is looking go to view um show 3d view you can al also just quickly do it by pressing command 3 so i'll just show you that yeah so as you can see here it shows a view of what we have done and if you want to change the direction of your view, just press this one. That's rotate clockwise and that's rotate anti-clockwise. And if you want to zoom out, press this one. If you want to zoom in, press this one. Yeah, that's all you need to know about the view. And... um yeah so and then you close it 
obviously this computer does not not want to be too fast today so if you think oh that is a bit too like too steep I want to smooth it out you can always use this tool this is a smoothening tool and just hold it down and the higher the intensity the higher the faster it works through it so as you can see I'm smoothing it out so yeah and if you want to rotate your brush let's say you got a, a custom brush uh, you want to rotate your brush there's two ways to do it one way is to slide the top slide bar so now yeah so now it's rotated rotated obviously the computer is pretty slow so let's just ignore that and the other way to do it is to hold down alt key and then scroll your mouse wheel so that's a quick way to do it and if you want to large, make your brush larger hold down your just scroll your mouse wheel yeah and and then yeah if you want to like only only affect blocks like at a certain height level or above you can always just press tick this and then just like do any minecraft height below 256 because everyone knows that if you want to be at a certain level of below tick that and then yeah if you want it to if you want it to uh how do i do this oh yeah um sometimes your brush your brushes tab may be too big so you just press that one now we've got a full view of this if you want it to on, on, if you want the brush to only affect stuff on a certain terrain oh how strange what I don't want what if you want your brush to only oh, only affect stuff on certain terrain tick this uh, and then you can select any terrain or any layers yeah or any even any annotations we'll get to annotations uh, a bit later yes so we don't want that so only on if you don't want if you and then if you want her to do stuff except for that terrain the same thing but just yeah and then if you want it to be above a certain angle uh, a certain angle like slope you see the slope thing at the bottom here that is degrees so if you want it to be only affect stuff on really hilly places then put it higher if you want it to only affect stuff on planes then make it lower now that's up to you so we'll just not tick that uh, so about annotations um, annotations and biomes annotations and biomes and terrain terrain is the block type of of your thing so those stuff can only be applied onto terrain using the pencil tool and the spray paint tool yes so let's say you want to use the spray paint uh, if you wanted to like let's say we wanted to paint this whatever that texture might be uh, just 
Yeah, and the higher the intensity, the uh, the more like accurate it paints. So if your intensity is really high, in the middle of where you're painting, there's gonna be no other blocks except for that type of block. If your intensity is really low, such as like eight or something, it paints it really slowly. So as you can see here, it's like kind of a random dot pattern. So that is also really useful for a uh, world painter. And for, anno and for annotations, annotations just like for planning, like you're just marking out stuff. I'll just show you. This is not actually, oh, what did I just press? This is, annotations are not actually like affect the world. It's just for planning out your entire terrain world. So what I just pressed there, um, raise pyramid, uh, it just raised a square pyramid out of the ground. So that's not really useful. So let's just not worry about that. And this one floods the, it basically just floods wherever, where you pressed that entire Y level and all Y levels below with water. So if you want to see here, yeah, every, I press there. So that Y level and every Y level below that will be flooded with water. And if I press this, it will be flooded with water. Uh, if the lava is the same, except instead of water, it floods everything with lava. And if you don't want that to happen, you can always use the sponge tool. Uh, I've got a weird brush here. I don't know why. So all of these will be affected by the brushes. So be careful of what you select that on the brushes. These, these brushes are the default brushes. These brushes are all the, um, are all the custom brushes. So you could either import the custom brushes or you could just like uh, make your own. We'll talk about that later because that can't be made inside this app. Uh, so this tool here, that is to set the world spawn. So if we set the world spawn in lava, uh, of course, yeah, you know what will happen. So if you think, oh, I don't, I did something wrong. I want to undo that. Just press this. It's just, yeah. And if you want to go back, go forward, press this. It's just like normal drawing app. Nothing too special here. So we've got nearly all the basics through. Um, so this is where the locations are. And if you want, if you're thinking, this is not the map I want. You could also, you could always just open a uh, existing world painter world. It will just that will just take you to your all my files. Uh, create a new world painter world. I'll just show you that for now. If you want to leave your current world, it will say this. If you say press cancel or no, if you press cancel, it will just ignore whatever you are pressing it will just go back if you press no it will delete it will basically just like not save it if you press yes it will save it as a new uh, document and if you press save the world as a world painter world it will save it of course if you want to go into like put it into minecraft map into minecraft in game press this uh, it would, if I press it right now, it will just, I'll show you, it will just, yeah, you get to do the final global edits of everything. And if you want to only export selected tiles, press, you need to tick that and then press select tiles and then click on the tiles you want to select. Uh, we don't want to export right now because if as soon as I press that this file will just 
go into the Minecraft game files. So, yeah, you don't need to do like any fiddling around with the files too much. World Painter is a very smart system, and if you want to turn off those, uh, uh, those black lines, you could just turn it off by a simple press of that. If you want to turn on the coordinates grid, you can also do that. If you want to rotate the light that's coming from, you could like just rotate the light. If you do it, then you couldn't see anything, so you do it again until the angle you want it to be. I I personally I'm used to this, but I don't know about you. Uh, so if you want to use the biomes thing, it will change the like. It's just like in game, you you get to control like the grass, of, yeah, you get to control the grass color and like all the game things, yeah. Uh. So these are all the basics you need to know basically. Um. Same with the map viewing that we just showed. You using this will change the view of your yeah. And if you want to zoom out, just press that. It will if you have a really big map, it will take a while. And also if you have a really slow computer like mine, it will also take a while, but eventually it will zoom out if you want to zoom back in. It will zoom in yes and yeah we pr we are basically done here today so thanks for watching guys today i'll catch you on the next episode bye